Hey YouTubers, Steven here. What a gorgeous, gorgeous Sunday. Um, it's 11 o'clock, it's already 22 degrees Celsius. Uh, springtime, you know, good time to, you know, get out the camping gear, set up the tent, get it aired out, make sure that, you know, it's fine for, um, for camping season. And I noticed there's not too many videos on the Broadstone, Broadstone, Broadstone 13-man tent. So I thought I'd uh, do a little video, show you how easy it is to set up uh, one person. Of course, it's easier with two, but um, I'm going to do a time-lapse video. I'm going to show you how easy it is to set it up, and then uh, we'll take a little walkthrough, and I'll show you how great this tent is. It was uh, 30 minutes it took. Um, my daughter wanted to help. Thanks, Shelby. Uh, you know, sometimes you, you don't always remember how all the poles and everything go. And uh, It has been over a year since I set the, the tent up. The worst about this tent, the only complaint I have, is getting the fly just in the right spot so that it goes on. Because it's, well, as you can see, it's quite the multi-shape, but uh, it's pretty big and all things considering, you know, you couldn't build a cottage in 30 minutes. So let's take the camera and uh, let's go check out how big this really is inside. Okay, so let's have a little walk around. This is the front entrance. All right. And as you can see, there's an electrical port there. That's an opening, so if you got to run electrical cord in. And there's a few of these around. Lots of windows, more doors, nice big window in the back, another electrical port, they call them e-ports, and another entrance, and then we're back again to the front, let's go have a peek inside. Doors open up nice and easy. All right, we're just stepping in. I'm just gonna kneel down here. Now on the video camera, this probably doesn't look that big and roomy, but take a walk all the way down. All right, we're back down the other end. So maybe I need to set up the camera inside. Here's the front entrance. They say you can use this as a as a room, and I suppose, in essence, you can. But uh, we usually, you know, store our coolers in here and our footwear and what have you. But show you how the wall's set up too. Right. Does this give it a little more perspective of how small I am? Because the dimensions of this is actually 21 feet long, 17 feet wide. So if you go to a campground that doesn't have big lots, this isn't going to fit. But, as you can see, I'm standing straight up and down. Now, they have privacy curtains, so you can block off this section, that section, for, you know, a little privacy in your rooms. It's real easy. All it is is just a simple sheet, right, that goes across. So, there's just a little place to hook it up here. If I can get my fat fingers in here. And 
there you go. There's your privacy. It's not a soundproof wall, but you know what? If people don't want to sleep together, then uh, that'll give you some privacy. But we as a family, we never use these. We all sleep together. Plus, we also bring our dogs with us. We have uh, four Shih Tzus and a yellow lab. We all sleep together. One big happy family in here. Get a couple of air mattresses spread all out. Get a nice hook up here. Uh, there's also a, a little net that you can put up here as well. But um, I have uh, one of those LED round lights. Hook it up here, turn it on, lights up the whole tent. It's perfect for nighttime. And uh, this no see -em screen up here, I'll tell you, it is awesome at night if you're watching, uh, you know, you want to look at the stars if you're out in the middle of nowhere. And when we go camping in the woods and there's nobody around, uh, if it's a clear night, we will actually take the fly off just so we can look at the stars while we fall asleep. So, that's how easy this tent is to set up. It's really, really roomy. Um, we've been camping a few times where it rained. Never leaked once. Uh, I know I've seen lots of comments on uh, Canadian Tires website where we got it, where you know people said it leaks and this and that. Us personally, we've never had any problems with it. Um, but you can also buy uh, spray for to spray on your your tent, you know, to waterproof it. But this has a rain guard in it, uh, which is you know a, a water repellent. But uh, Hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, found this quite informative. Hopefully I'm still in the camera shot with my face and not just looking at my chest, but uh, we absolutely love our tent and uh, I'm sure you'll love it too. Thanks for watching.